to talk about my friend Julie. Julie is an amazing hairstylist and you can find her work at itsjulianrose.com. Trust me, when it comes to hair, she knows what the fuck she's doing. Fun fact, this is my favorite pic I've ever taken of her. And whenever I took this picture, I had literally fallen right on my ass and hit snap on the picture while she was laughing at me having just fell. Um, but I didn't break the phone or the camera. And I love it because she's so happy in this picture and she is genuinely laughing at me falling on my ass. <laughs> so I want to try her hair routine. And she sent me three different um, routes to take with my hair journey, whether you are air drying, um, diffusing, or if you are plopping. So today I'm going to attempt her routine with just doing the air drying method. And it is hair wash day. I haven't washed my hair in about four days now, so I need to go wash it. The um, hair routine is uh, in the hair care routine spreadsheet, which I'm going to link and uh, in the description of the video, of course. And um, fucking, yeah. So I guess it's just like my introduction video to I am trying Julie's hair care methods. Today we are starting with the air drying um, strategy. And... I think I'm going to do like another video where I might read the entire routine on live or something like that. The biggest changes are to use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair with conditioner in it while, st while in the shower. To leave the excess water in my hair, then apply the products and then dry it after. I haven't been doing that. What I've been doing is drying my hair like or at least until it's not soaking wet and then adding products and then drying the rest of the way and then doing stuff so we're gonna try it this way this time so we're going to be adding products to my hair while it's still soaking wet this time everything's going to be the same except for we're also going to be including mousse into the routine and i'm going to be applying my hair mousse after my curl cream in the routine that i've been doing also, a tip that she had was for fine or uh, like wavy hair to um, to lightly shake the curl after you're raking products through to encourage the curl to form or lightly shake the hair, I mean. And um, I feel like even with like lightly wavy hair, you could still have like a technical loose, very loose curl like for the wave, if you're, you know what I mean? Um, so that will help, you know, my hair just be a little more wavy, I'm hoping. And maybe have some more volume. We'll see. And then what I'm definitely just going to have to remember with this is to make sure, like, because I'm afraid where I'm, like, what I'm going to keep doing is uh, default. When I'm not thinking about it, I'll go into default mode and do what my old routine has been without thinking about it when I want to try something else. So I guess that's probably my biggest worry with trying this. Like, what if I forget that I'm doing a new thing and then accidentally do the old thing again? <laughs> then I'll just have to try next time. But yeah, so the takeaways for this for me is um, leaving my hair saturated with, with the moisture after rinsing out the conditioner, then adding products, um, and then putting the uh, hold product on top of the hydrating product and then continuing to dry it. Okay, now let's try the damn thing. Okay, in the process of doing my whole air dryy thing, this is what my curls are. Well, I don't really have curls, I guess, but my waves are looking a little more curlier than what I'm used to here. Uh, I think I just switched which way I was holding the phone. My bad, I'm out of it. Fucking, uh, but yeah, fucking. The hair is hairy. It doesn't usually, like, it'll usually kind of be a little wavy, you know? Like, have, like, three waves when it's wet. Three to five. But I feel like it's got a little more boingy-boingy. Okie dokie. So this is my hair. Um, as I am now letting it, going to air dry it for a bit. And then I think I'm going to add my, um, 
oils on the roots and everything are a bit more dry just so I can like see how this little curl pattern dries without disturbing it. Oh, Y'all, if you watch the rest of my hair playlist, you see how it normally looks after it's wet. It's not like this. This is interesting. I'm just interested to see how it dries. And this is my hair after air drying a little bit. The curls kind of fall out, but it's still way wavier than it usually is, so that's cool. All I did was flip my hair upside down and apply oils, and this is what we're working with so far. I was like, um, putting the oil, so I did a little bit of just ammo oil on my scalp today, and that's it. And then I did some ammo oil in my hair, and then I did the biotin collagen mist in my hair, as well as the argan oil finishing spray last. And, um, for the, I was like, running the oil through my hair hair with my fingers and then scrunching up after and I had my head flipped over for that and this is what we are working with. So this is what we're working with the next day after the hair routine. I did just do like a high loose bun um, with the bonnet on. I usually braid my hair. And so this is what my hair looks like without braiding it for my bonnet and it still has like a bit like it's not falling completely flat um like it would if I hadn't been on Julie's hair routine I think you know like it's still got this nice little curvature and flips at the bottom um and you know there's like I think about three or so waves in my hair for the most part so it's still got like this it's just a much looser wave today than it was yesterday you know yesterday was a bit um there were just more waves in my pattern if that makes sense like i had like five um or more waves in my pattern yesterday but now it's one to three today which is totally chill um and now i'm about to refresh this bitch I'm just gonna be using water and my detangler. Now I'm gonna detangle my hair a bit, but mostly focus on shining with the boar brush today. And I don't think I'm gonna leave my house, but if I do leave my house, or if I were to leave my house, I would also be putting some finishing spray on here. So yeah. And now this is my hair after I have brushed it out, detangled it and everything. So yeah, it looks good. It's not too wavy, but you know, it does have very light, loose waves. Um, and just a little bit of volume. And you know, because my hair, even though it lays flat at the root, especially right now because my roots are very moist because I just sprayed the fuck out of them with my water bottle. Um, so this is my hair kind of damp still. But... It's still getting this kind of, um, like when my hair is going real flat, like it won't have, I don't, I'm going to use my birds. Hmm. I just feel like my hair still looks like it has more volume, even if it's relatively flat at the roots. In the body, it still does to me because sometimes when my, before when I didn't know how to take care of my hair at all, like last year, for example, um, my hair would just look way stringier and flatter. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm trying. When I better process how to use my words on this, maybe I'll be able to explain that better in another video. But anywho, so now you have seen the before, during, and after of me trying the air drying method. And next, I am going to be trying the plopping method and the diffusing method. And if you want to talk to Julie about this routine, you can find her on her website at itsjulianrose.com. And I have in the video, link in the description of this video, I have the hair care routine spreadsheet link. Um, and that lists her hair care routine that I'm following. And I'm going to put her website in the description of this video as well.